Hey YouTubers, Nicholas Medovich here with Strasburg 1991 Productions and today I'm going to make you how to make a Coca-Cola barbecue sauce that I want to say a big thank you to other YouTube subscribers including Project Smoke and Fire narrator Stephen Reichlin. Barbecue has become a, a tradition from all over the world from the southeast all the way down to parts of southern America and the term Barbacoa has been quickly associated with the terms for thousands of centuries, even before the BC and 80s. To make your Coca-Cola barbecue sauce, you will need the following. A cup and a half of tomato ketchup. Next, add about one and a half tablespoons of McCormick's Grill Mates barbecue rub. Remember, you're gonna have a lot of barbecue sauce to make, so sometimes you're gonna have to actually double or triple the recipe. And the same thing with your applewood rub. and we'll clean up after ourselves because cooking is sometimes very messy. And now for some smoke and also some heat, you will also need about a table, about a teaspoon and a half of chipotle powder. These are dried smoked jalapeno peppers that have been ground and sometimes they're put into a sauce called adobo. And for some really good sweetness, we have the same amount of dark brown sugar. And for some interesting aromatic and smokier flavor, we'll add about a teaspoon and a half of your Memphis Pit Barbecue Rub. You don't want to go too much on this. And last but certainly not least, you'll need approximately about half a bottle of, of your favorite of your favorite cola. Coca-Cola would work just as good. You're better off of putting too little in than putting too much in. And it's also going to be used to deglaze this. Mix the sauce together. until it becomes a thick, syrup-like consistency. And turn up the stove to about a two or three. Keep adding Coke, Coca, keep adding your Coca-Cola until it reaches the consistency you're looking for. And then for the next 15 to 20 minutes, let it simmer, but do not come, do not bring this to a boil. You want to let the sugars caramelize, not necessarily to burn. And there you have your Coca-Cola barbecue sauce made from a Stephen Reichland fan.